So when you log into the insurance box dashboard, you get this kind of overview of your driving. Uh, to start with, when you've just hooked the device up, you're on a, what's meant to be an average ranking, so 2.7 for everything. Uh, you've got your speed, your braking, your acceleration, and your night driving ratings. And uh, obviously, the, the more you improve, the higher your rating for each of these becomes. And it's got little suggestions on how you can improve. You can then go into reports, you can access uh, other things, so speed, score, individually, braking, uh, I've only just plugged it in, so I don't really have that data filled yet, I've used it for a day. Uh, you can go to journeys, so you can see the road type usage, uh, that's odd, um, not sure why that's come up, uh, so you, yeah, you can go in and see your road type usage. Uh, interesting that it's made that available to me after one day of driving, but it's not making the other ratings available yet. Uh, so you can see I've driven so many, um, in so many different speed zones, 50, 60, 70, and 100. Yeah, how's that coming up again? Uh, nighttime driving, I have only driven during the day, but you can see this chart of it. Uh, you've got an inbox which has any letters from insurance box. They also go to your email address, so you're not going to miss out on anything. Um, this is just uh, the first email I got after plugging the device in, basically telling me my dashboard was available and my password. Uh, you can supply documentation online if they've asked for anything in addition. And uh, under share access, you can give other people access to your dashboard if you wish. So you just enter their username and email address, and there you go. So that is the insurance box dashboard. I will do another video and uh, show some more of it once I've got some more data in there. But this is what it's like when you first start.